Thank you for practicing some yoga with me today. My name is Angela. I work at the Downtown Wisconsin Athletic Club in Member Services. And today we're just going to be doing an all around ladder flow. So it'll be really good for connecting with our breath, opening up the body. And there'll be steps to the ladder. So it will start with traditional sun salutations and we'll be adding on steps as we go through. So you can stay lower, stay lower on the ladder if you want to, or you could take it a few notches up. Um, I'll show all the different variations. And today I won't be using props just because I'm not sure everyone has props at home, but if you like having blocks nearby within reach or anything, um, you can even use a pile of books for that. I recommend that to help you open yourself up, but I'll guide it without props. So we're gonna start out on our backs and we're gonna have the knees bent, feet planted onto the earth. And just as you lie back here, find a nice comfortable place for your knees. They can, they can knock in toward one another just so you feel supported. And then place your left hand over your heart and your right hand over your lower abdomen. And just notice your breath here. You can let your eyes close. If you had coffee or anything that makes you wanna keep your eyes open, just keep a soft gaze in them so that you're not focusing on anything. But just observing how the breath moves in you. Notice it in your throat, your rib cage, and your belly. And perhaps it feels a bit more prominent in one of those areas. So if you observe it, just welcome it. Welcome a breath in to even that out. So really fill up through the lower abdomen belly. Feel the breath rise all the way up to the chest, all the way up to the collarbones. And as you exhale, lower the abdomen, rib cage, collarbones. Find a few more moments just observing. As you observe, just allow it to be a peaceful observation, not tensing out around how anything should be. And we'll take three inhales and exhales together. You can let that exhale be a sigh of an exhale, maybe even making it audible, just releasing any tension from the body and mind here. So together we'll take a deep inhale, filling up the belly, rib cage, lungs, and exhale, open mouth, sigh. <sighs> Two more of those deep inhalations, filling up our torso completely. And exhale. Good, and one final. Deep exhale. We can release the hands, let the knees gather in toward the chest. And just give yourself a nice hug here. Continue to feel the belly expand into the legs and maybe a slight rock here. Massaging the lower back, the muscles along the spine, the shoulders. And coming back to center, we'll let that right leg stay hugged in. Let the left leg extend out long. If you have tight hamstrings or lower back, you can always take a bend into that left knee. But just stir around that right shin bone a few times. And then intertwine the fingers behind the back of the right thigh, letting that right leg lengthen up nice and long. So take some flexing and pointing into the toes, maybe some circles. And this is a great place if you have a strap or a belt to do the recline leg stretch with a strap. Otherwise, we can really lengthen up through the heel, flex the toes back, and start to press the back of our thigh into our fingertips here. So just creating that warmth in the back of our leg, our hip, and Finding that connection of the lower back, hips, and back of the leg. Another deep inhale here. And as you exhale, bend into that right knee. We'll take the outside of the right thigh with the left hand. Scoop it over to the left as you take your gaze over to the right. Just let the right shoulder release onto the earth and let gravity take you into the twist. Good, and let's your next inhalation draw you back to center, hugging that right knee in, draw the left knee back in to join, and we'll release that right leg long, keeping the left shin bone hugged in. Maybe bend into that right knee, maybe leave it long. 
see what your body's feeling today and just start to take a gentle stir into the left shin bone, into that hip, just exploring with our breath. And then finding our reclined leg stretch as we intertwine the fingers behind the back of the left thigh. Extend that left leg long heel, reaching up toward the ceiling, toes flexing back. And then start to engage and heat up through that left hip as you push the thigh into the hands and pull the hands back. So we're resisting ourselves here to create that length, space, heat, making our physical body more malleable with creating that heat. And a couple breaths here. each inhalation rise up through that heel and exhale relax a little bit more into the jaw and one more breath here and next exhale we can bend into that left knee we'll take the outside of the left thigh with the right hand scoop it over to the right as we look over to the left rounding that left shoulder letting gravity take you into the twist noticing that nice length from the left hip all the way to the left shoulder And we'll inhale back to center, hug that right knee into the chest. And we're just gonna take a few movements, just tying the movement with breath. Let your next inhalation reach the arms overhead, heels extend up toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, arms come back to the sides, drawing the knees into the chest. Inhale, lengthen horizontally and vertically. And exhale, draw it all back in. Find a few more of these with your own breath, making a nice nourishing movement, just stretching into our limbs, finding that energy spread from the mid body out to the extremities. Go ahead and find one more inhalation. And one more exhale as we draw the knees into the chest. If you have any lower back tightness or injuries, we'll just roll over to the right, come to seated. Otherwise, you can take the hands behind the thighs, tuck the chin into the chest, and just rock yourself up to a seat, and then come over to tabletop. So setting yourself up nice and lovingly, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, spread the fingers wide, and find some cat-cow motions here with your breath as you inhale, melt the belly down, crown of the head, tailbone reaches up, and exhale, rounding through the spine. A few more of these with your own breath. Inhale, melt the belly down and exhale, rounding. Thinking about creating space and energy in the front and back of our spine. And feel free to find some intuitive movements here as well. If you like to stick to the standard cat-cow, you can, or you can find a side body stretch, maybe sticking out the right hip and looking over at it, and then to the other side. Maybe some barrel rolls into the shoulders. So just doesn't have to look any particular way. Just being intuitive with what our body needs here. We'll find a few more rounds of breath in this space. And making any asymmetrical movements symmetrical. We'll find our way back to that neutral tabletop. So we're gonna head to our downward facing dog. Walk your hands forward just about a handprint. Fingers stay spread nice and wide as we wrap the inner arms in toward one another. Tuck the toes under, inhale, and exhale. Let the hips slide you up and back. Downward facing dog. Just noticing where you naturally land here and then maybe start to pedal out into it a bit. And then finding stillness in the downward facing dog. Feel the finger mounds, toe mounds plant down nice and evenly. Micro bend into the knees till the hips lift nice and high. Inner elbows wrapping in, armpits wrapping in toward the ears. Take a deep inhalation here to the heart center. And an open mouth exhale. One more of those. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Take your gaze up to the front of your mat and keeping the knees bent. We'll walk our way to the top of our mat. Find the feet hip width, and hip width apart and parallel. The distance between the feet is two fists here. And just take opposite elbows here. Let yourself hang ragdoll. Maybe find a gentle rock here. And then 
Taking the hands to the earth or shin bones, we'll take an inhale, half lift, flat back lengthen. Exhale, fold, folding in, bending the knees. Root into the feet as we inhale, reverse swan dive, arms gaze, heart reaches up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Just pause here. Find a moment in your standing pose, Tadasana. Find your breath, find your heartbeat. And you can release the hands, let the eyes open. So we're gonna start into our traditional sun salutations. Again, adding on, keep yourself where you need to be if you don't wanna come all the way up and have fun and just um, let the breath guide you through the movement. So starting at the top of our mats, we'll take our toes together, heels together, hands at heart center. Next, inhalation, let the arms gaze, heart lift. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips, bend the knees, forward fold. Take an inhale, half lift. And as you exhale, fold, walk that right foot back. Set the knee down, untuck the toe, left knees right over left heel as we inhale, arms rise up, low lunge. Good, and as you exhale, take the hands down to frame the foot, tuck the back toe, and we'll come back to our plank pose. Now I'll show a couple of vinyashins here. If you have a vinyasa that you like to take, you can take that, otherwise follow my options. First option, take an inhale in your plank, as you exhale, knees lower, inhale to your cow pose, and exhale, tuck the toes, glide the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale here, and deep exhale. Inhale, gaze forward, and as you exhale, work to walk that right foot between the hands, help it out as needed, till the right heel is underneath the right knee, we'll inhale, rise up, low lunge. Stretch it out and exhale, Hands plant to frame the foot, tuck the back toe under. As you inhale, step up, forward fold. And inhale, arms gaze, heart root to rise. Exhale, folding back in. One more traditional sun salutation before we add on. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, left foot walks back. Draw the left knee down, untuck the toe. Inhale up, low lunge. And exhale, plant the hands. Step back to your plank, vinyakshin two. We'll exhale, knees, chest, chin lower, booty lifts. And exhale, release the tops of the feet, inhale up to a low cobra. And exhale, tuck the toes, let the hips glide you up and back, downward facing dog. Deep inhale, clearing exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, walk that left foot between the hands. Left heel underneath, left knee, inhale, arms rise, low lunge. And exhale, plant the hands, tuck the back toe. Inhale, step forward, half lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, arms, gaze, heart, lift us. Exhale, folding back in, adding on here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, right foot walks back. Draw the back knee down, inhale up, low lunge. And as you exhale, plant that right hand down and lift that left arm up, finding a twisted lunge. Shoulders drawing away from the ears. Maybe the gaze comes up toward that left hand. One more inhale here. And as you exhale, left hand cartwheels down to frame the foot, plant the hand, step back, plank pose. Vinyapshan number three, inhale in your plank. And exhale, shift forward, lower chaturanga. Inhale, untuck the toes to your up dog. And exhale, glide the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So you can take any of those vinyapshans or you can skip them all together and just come to downward dog, your choice, your practice. Inhale, that gaze comes forward. As you exhale, walk that right foot between the hands. Settle the back knee down as you inhale up, low lunge. Exhale, plant that left hand, right arm releases up. Create space in the neck as you draw the shoulders away from the ears, feel that right rib lift, right gaze lift. And exhale, cartwheel that right hand down, tuck the back toe, inhale, step forward, half lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, root to rise, arms gaze, heart. And exhale, folding back in, adding on again. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold, left foot walks back. We'll draw that back knee down. 
Inhale up to our low lunge. And exhale, left hand releases down. Inhale, right arm releases up. Tuck that left toe under. Find that twisted high lunge. Good, and next exhale, lower that right hand down to our high lunge. Shoulder blades back and down, bend deeper into that front right knee. And then exhale, let that right hip guide you back as you straighten or straighten-ish into that right leg. Good, wash it out. Inhale, forward high lunge. And exhale back. One more here. Inhale, high lunge. And exhale back. Next time you inhale into that high lunge, press the hands into the earth, find your plank, and vinyasa of your choice. Moving with the breath, exhale to lower. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhalation. Clearing, exhale. Next, inhalation, gaze comes forward. And as you exhale, walk that left foot between the hands. Draw the back knee down. Inhale up, low lunge. Exhale, plant that right hand. Inhale, left arm rises. And tuck that back toe under, finding the twisted high lunge. Gaze look up, looks up to that left hand. Good, and next, exhale. Left hand lowers to frame the foot. Shoulder blades back and down, bend deeper into that front left knee. This is always a great place for blocks or a stack of books if you have them. And exhale, draw that left knee back, straighten or straighten-ish in front of or into that left leg. And wash it out, inhale, bending back in, heart open forward. Exhale it back. And one more, inhale, heart beams forward. And exhale it back. Next inhalation, we'll bend into that knee. Step forward, half lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, arms gaze, heart root to rise. Exhale, folding back in. Couple more rounds, adding on a little bit faster this time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, right foot walks back. We'll stay into that high lunge as we plant that right hand down. Inhale, left arm rises. And then exhale, let it settle down, and we'll straighten into that left leg. And then inhale back forward, high lunge. Good, plant that right heel down, and we're gonna inhale up, finding a warrior two. So setting yourself up here for a moment, left knees over left heel, we're rooting down through the outstep of that right foot, and spreading the shoulder blades apart through the fingertips. Just gaze over those front left fingertips, Feel nice and strong and steady here. And next exhalation, we'll cartwheel the hands down to frame that foot. Stepping back to plank pose, make your way to downward facing dog. Meeting in our downward facing dog, take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Inhale your gaze forward. As you exhale, step that right foot between the hands. We'll stay in that high lunge this time as we plant the left hand. Inhale, right arm rises. Good, and exhale, return that right hand down, straighten into that right leg, bowing in. And inhale to your high lunge, lowering that back left heel and rotating up warrior two. Spreading the shoulder blades through the fingertips. Gazing over that front right hand and rooting down through the outstep of that left heel. Couple breaths here, just feeling steady, balanced. Take a look at that right knee, see that it's right over the right heel. Drop back if you need to. Good, and next exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame the foot. Inhale, step forward, half lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, root to rise, arms gaze, heart lift. Exhale, fold again, one final round. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold, left foot walks back. Stay in that high lunge as we inhale, right arm rises. Next, exhale, cartwheel that hand down, straighten into that front right leg. And inhale into that High lunge, rounding the back left heel, we'll make our way warrior two. Finding steadiness in here. And we're gonna take it one step farther this round, placing that right elbow 
on the right knee, left hand on the left hip. So a variation of side angle, maybe we stay right here, maybe we lengthen that left leg, or sorry, left arm overhead. Find that nice long line, left fingertips all the way through the left outstep of foot. And take an inhale here into the left lung. And as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down, framing the foot, stepping back to plank. One more vinyasa option here, meeting in downward dog. And as you find that downward dog, taking a couple nice breaths here, our last downward dog of the session. And then gaze can come forward. Step that left foot between the hands. We'll keep that right hand grounded in the high lunge. Inhale, arm reaches up. And then exhale, setting that left hand down, folding into that left leg as we lengthen through it. Heart guided toward the toes here. And inhale back into that high lunge. Set that right heel down, coming up to warrior two, gazing over those front left fingers. And then setting that left elbow on the left thigh, rotate that right hip and side body up, swing that right arm overhead, maybe. Maybe we keep it on the hip. Find your growing edge, the level of intensity. You need to still breathe and smile throughout the practice. Good, and next exhale, we'll rotate that right hand down to frame the foot in our high lunge. Inhale, step forward, half lift. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, root to rise, arms gaze, heart lift. And exhale, hands to heart center. Just find a few breaths, a few moments here. Just checking in with your breath, your heartbeat, all the energy running through you. And we can let the eyes open, let the hands release. We're going to make the way, our way to the earth in a flowing way. So inhale, the arms up. Exhale, folding and bending the knees. Plant the hands onto the earth. Walk back to plank. And then just set your belly down. We're coming to a sphinx pose. Just a nice little short back bend here to open up that front body. Planting the forearms and fingers spread wide. Shoulder blades back and down. Just take three to four breaths into that heart center. Legs are nice and heavy, even grounding through the pinky toe here to keep that sacrum nice and open. And from here, we'll release down, plant the hands, take the toes together, knees wide. Sink yourself back into a child's pose. Maybe the arms stay lengthened forward, maybe they come to the sides, resting the head. And just staying here as long as you'd like to keep your, to complete your practice. Maybe you take a traditional Shavasana after this. Just let the heart settle. Let your brain settle. And we'll see you tomorrow for some core with Justin.